Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Modern Redemption episode. This is it. This is the Wall of Flesh episode. But there's a couple things we gotta tackle here. As you can see, I did actually make a decent sized arena. That should be good. Hopefully. We'll see. Yeah, I want to try out this hateful talisman here because uh, this is just something I never got to check out. Let's see what it does. It says corrupts all level four or lower spirits. Let's put this baby on. Let's put on our soul armor and let's see what it means by corrupt. Ah, look at that. They're purple now. So I'm assuming that they do something now that they're purple, right? What is it that they do? We'll figure out. Do I have any I Cthulhu spawns? No, you're bullshitting me. I gotta have one somewhere. Okay, I legitimately don't have one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We will go to spawn. We will purchase one. All right, let's see it in action here. We'll use the bunnies because the bunnies you can actually aim. So it looks like it gives the uh, cursed flame debuff. And I'm assuming the crimson one does Icor. That's what I'm assuming without reading the wiki because I totally didn't just do that. Yeah, this means you get cursed flame, you get uh, Icor early game doesn't need to be hard mode but there's probably other mods that allow you to get it early game but that's cool a cool little alternative but let's put on the big boy armor here come on we don't need to use all of that to fight this boss we could use our pleasure the pleasure is a great weapon as you can see ripping through the eye get him out of here but let's get to like the main stuff we got to do in today's episode there's a bunch of little things we have to knock out so that's exactly what we're gonna do uh i did a bunch of the uh wafers quests until i got to the interesting ones the interesting one being the mini boss ones obviously so if we talk to him now he should have a mini boss quest opened up boom i recently got a cool new sword i call it the slicer but unfortunately it broke while fighting a great beast the fragments of it are still stuck in its extra thick hide i'm asking for a lot but without my cool sword i'm basically useless could you find it and slay it it'll be in the jungle area it's big so it won't be too hard to find i think i see the beast right here mossy goliath what's up pal hold up what should we fight it with let's do this and let's just get blasted wrong weapon hello oh there you go it just didn't want to wake up the, the first time i talked to it all right let's uh whoa 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 we did like a little suck attack and now my I'm playing with confused controls. I might die. Like I can't I can't move at all. I can't move. <laughs> I just hope I out DPS it. There we go. Holy Dang, if I wasn't tanky enough to survive that, like that was some BS. I legit could not move that whole time. Like I thought it was the confusion, but like no, my character was legit stuck for a second. Alright, there you go, it's dead. Nice. Mud mace. What other goodies? Mossy screecher. Cool. Tasty steak. Oh, it's a druid class weapon. Okay, this is interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this on the wiki. <laughs> so, like, I don't know how this works. I swear I've never seen this on the wiki. Can I only throw one at a time? Ooh, look, it summons a little goliath head. Now, that's pretty cool. I like that. It's a little slow of a weapon, but it's really unique. And that's, like, really what the druid class is, is just unique weapons. Oh, it's a seed bag. It's a seed bag type weapon because I was able to throw two right there. Okay, even cooler. All right, let's go back, though. Let's go talk to my boy because I don't know when these pre-hard mode quests end, if there's even, like, a cutoff between the pre-hard mode and hard mode ones. I'm assuming there is. Oh, I had to talk to this guy first. Boom, repair. Thank you. Zepho sword. Cool. All right, here you go. You're welcome. Give me three reward bags for it. Nice. And look at that. Zephos looks different. He has like a headband on now. Cool, cool. Any more quests? Can't think of any quests right now. Yeah, there you go. There is a cutoff. All right, what are in these reward bags? There's a sickle. Hold up. This sickle might actually be uh, a good weapon. Let me talk to uh, Akvat here. You know what? This is what I should do. I should get like all of the fragments I have and then let's see if he makes a bunch of stuff for me. All right, let's see. Some of these have to be some weapons. Come on. Look how much stuff I have. Come on. Let me see. Aki's claws. Uh, what else do we got? Forest Nymph Sickle. This one right here. I believe this is a druid one. Yes, it is. This one I probably could have got a lot earlier. Oh, well, at least I got it. What else you got? That's it? That's all I have? None of these make another weapon? Are you kidding me? What the fuck? So yeah, there's this new material that spawns in after we kill Skeletron, I believe. It spawns in the cavern lair, and I've been mining it. It's called Dragon Lead. So let's make a bunch of it. 
and as we can see i think the only thing for us the druid is just armor there's an accessory this accessory is pretty cool uh but everything else is not druid related the only thing is druid related is the armor so that's all i need so this should be our last armor set here for the druid before we enter hard mode beautiful let's go ahead and craft it and let's put it on let's see our damage so we got 47 there put that on we got 48 damn we got fire around us too our defense goes up no the defense goes down well, interesting uh set bonus immune to lava ring of flame circles around you inflicting fire on contact not bad staves can cast faster sweet was this throw seed bag faster oh i don't know which one i want i don't know which one's gonna be really good for this next fight honestly i guess i will use this armor set i think we are pretty much ready to fight the wall flush actually there's one thing i do want to do and that one thing is i want to get the xenomite canister which is a weapon from the infected something whatever what was the seed of infection can i buy a seed of infection spawner or do i need a craft one i think i need a craft one the anomaly detector hopefully i can make another one kind of wish it was a non-consumable version it's all good it's all good and there you go first one dead did we get it we got it beautiful don't even have to fight the other ones xenomite cancer throw a seed that grows a xenomite shard let's see it wow amazing let's fight it again why not wait a minute i just noticed there's one more thing we have to do and that's the the chicken event we haven't done that yet and it's not my fault we haven't done it it's just i've only seen like three chicken cultists the whole time and then they haven't dropped the item to spawn it in so that's one more thing we got to do before we fight the wall flesh all right we got it here strange contract summons king chickens royal army only usable at day let's get to it this thing we probably were meant to fight such a long time ago but again we just didn't get the drop until now this thing has a lot of cool uh, enemies in a lot of cool looking enemies maybe not hard okay that one greater chick man that no he still died instantly never mind i'll take it back but there still is a lot of cool enemies during this hold up i want that so let's go ahead let's get through this let's see i guess the mini boss i think there is a mini boss in this i like how there's no music either it's just chicken <laughs> okay here we go trojan chicken the, oh it's like the trojan horse beautiful they're not gonna fool me though i know they're inside of it look at that they're launching themselves outside of it they're spoiling the part it's, it's supposed to be a surprise is that it no there's another one okay so it just becomes a part of the event now like any other event i guess cool oh that one shot out a lot more that time let's go ahead let's use the pleasure on it the pleasure is probably pretty good for it trojan chicken has been defeated i don't know if they drop anything useful or not they might but i have no idea we are almost done i think there's one more boss i don't know if it's a hard mode boss or not like it's a rooster or something it's supposed to be in this event i think not exactly sure but i think there's supposed to be a rooster in this but there you go what a tough event i'm not gonna lie some of the enemies actually do do damage like the chick man look at that look, look damage they do nothing crazy obviously if i just don't run into them i'm not gonna take damage but it's still decent i guess we got a chick man shield awesome get ready we're fighting the wall flesh in the next clip all right we got to get to this before i get assaulted by something let's go real quick where is it boom doll throw it oh bad throw boom doll throw it good throw poggers throw all right let's get to it i have high faith that this will be a dominant boss fight if it isn't, then I definitely underestimated the waff. But so far, it's looking good. If we don't have mana... Okay, we get our mana back so quick. Never mind. We don't even have to worry about losing mana. We get it back so quick. There's not even a point to even switch into anything else. This is such a dominant boss fight. I fucking told you. I had a feeling that this would be a dominant boss fight. I don't know. It's just... You get that feeling sometimes. Uh, depending on what you're using what class you're using and this class is a little good you know there might have been some parts here and there where it was kind of eh, aka early game when i barely had any weapons but you know as of recently it's the class has been, been feeling a little too strong but yeah we are officially in hard mode now i think there is a weapon that the uh, wall flesh drops oh we just got it there you go enchanted wall claw nice I don't know if there's a druid emblem. Let's go to spawn here. Let's talk to the dryad. The dryad has a weapon she sells during the blood moon. And I don't think anyone told me about it. It's all good. Here it is. Corpse flower. What does it do? Oh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. Uh, Would have been useful probably early game. 
but not anymore all right so there's a couple androids spawning up there this is what it dropped carbon fiber capacitors platings what are these things used for there's a ship hull all right interesting there's a bunch of quest items i don't see any uh druid stuff so i don't think we have to worry too much about this stuff i would assume there wouldn't be too many druid items in terms of like technology because the druid stuff is you know nature themes so i wouldn't expect there to be too many druid items here doesn't look like there's any at all good that's a good thing but yeah what does this do this wall's claw shoots night spirits the night spirit is stronger in the corruption slash crimson is it just a regular staff not one with right click yeah so we're starting to see that more often is staves without a right click which is uh good well actually i don't know i kind of prefer if they would have a special ability with the right click but still it's it's good i guess less to think about you just gotta press one button and that's it but yeah now i do what i usually do i look at the wiki to figure out what the hell to do next all right i did some ore mining and i got barely any adamantite so that's why i stopped at mithril but one thing we have to do now is we're gonna hit up the hollow desert here oh we're playing 1.3 so i could like farm king slime down there which is amazing but yeah we're gonna hit up the desert our goal is to get souls of light because we want to make something called forest essence is that what it's called forest core as you can see living twigs souls of light this will make our first hard mode armor set now honestly there's a spirit armor set we could get or soul i don't know oh yeah soul wandering soul set that we can get that's not too bad either way we need to be somewhere in the hollowed we will bounce back and forth maybe i should focus soul stuff a little bit more here but like again there isn't too many weapons in the soul section compared to everything else so uh i don't know we'll we'll see what happens with that but yeah let me get some king slime spawners here i don't know who i'm trying to talk to who sells them you give me like five of them bitches and then we're gonna hit up desert kill king slime get a bunch of souls boom make our first armor set all right let's make some forest cores here how many do i need actually i have no idea if i have enough this does make a good bit of armor sets here and weapons very nice but let's start with the armor so we need a bunch of silk oh, okay not too many forest cores that's good so i'm gonna say like 20 should be a good number that's how much i'll make and then i need silk i for sure do not have silk maybe i do no okay we'll make like 60 silk apparently there's a pirate invasion going on i don't know when that happened but perfect time to test out our armor here right hopefully i don't get attacked though hey sir don't come in here please sir don't come in here please i don't have the weapon we weaponry for this all right force core what, what did i make i made the pants helmet oh god please stop I just just give me a couple seconds a couple seconds boom there's the chest plate all right i don't think my weapons are good enough hold on let's see the damage 81 boom we put this on 85 defense went up a lot i think set bonus spirits home in on enemies throw seed bags faster dave's cast faster that's the spirit shoots faster okay so the spirits are better pretty much that's what i'm getting from does this give me spirits it doesn't give me like spirit stuff which is kind of weird let's get to it who wants to die i'm sending out the spirits they're doing one damage okay i'm not sending out the spirits anymore i'm i'm using everything but the spirits yeah we don't have upgraded weapons yet so like honestly it's probably is not gonna go that good you know what this is what i should do i have enough adamantite to make this the adamantite lily seed bag fuck it I don't need a pickaxe anytime soon. Let's see what this thing does. Okay, it makes like a big adamantite, what, flower? Fountain? I don't know, something like that. Not bad. It doesn't seem like the greatest, if I'm being honest. But still, at least it's a hard mode weapon. It should do some hard mode damage, right? I hope. I hope that or I just I just stick to the fire. But oh, I'm dead. So the Modern Redemption does actually have a uh, new addition to the Pirate Army. Let's see if I can check it out without dying. Okay, I think. All right, well. It's like a big ass dude who throws barrels. I think he's called a cook here. We could probably find him on here. Pirate cook right here. Yeah, he's got a thousand health. He just throws these explosive barrels at you or something very cool you know i've been strategizing here against these guys as in i've been hiding up here okay captain was in here before but i've been hiding up here and i've just been like arcing everything like this and it's been working pretty well oh you hear that where's he at there he is right there look at he's throwing those explosive barrels i don't know what's in them they're dangerous nonetheless get me back on top of this tree okay all right so i'm back at that point where i need a lot more weapon suggestions because i have no idea what i can get right now i did make this right here though wyvern in a bottle we need a spirit level of three to use it we don't have that now we do 
No, we don't. Okay, I was just kidding. This is only spirit level two. Okay, well, how much better can I get this right now? Can I get it like any better at this point in time? Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't seem like we're going to be using that right now. But you know what we can try and get our hands on? Because I do need to capture a soul in a bottle right here. Wandering souls which means we need to kill pixies okay shouldn't be too bad i hope uh we still don't have a mount and i think there's only one mount in the redemption mod i, th I feel like that's something they should work on in the next update because you know i love my mounts in the terraria mods like it doesn't even have to be like a bunch of mounts at least like just like two because like i haven't even gotten a vanilla mount which partially is my fault i haven't exactly tried but like i i need some sort of mount at this point in time that should just came to me naturally maybe an expert drop you know not every expert item has to be an accessory you know what i'm saying all right let us make this beautiful soul stuff so i fought one enemy over and over again to get these uh, big souls who the hell is this bob the noob who the hell <laughs> where did he come from yeah i was over here in the granite biome i would just kill this giant granite monster that spawned over and over again from the modern redemption it's a new one and it would just drop the large souls or the lost souls so let's see it in action here we're gonna make this armor set this is probably gonna be our main armor set for a while maybe i don't know i still only have one soul weapon pretty much boom let's put it on defense goes down uh damage goes up at least on our soul stuff but everything i think drops down besides the soul stuff all good all good but look at this you ready boom now we have us a little soul wyvern kind of wish it was more soul weapons because you know people told me they're op but there's only like six weapons and i think some of them are post moon lord so like i don't know how those are that op then so if i take this and oh they disappear after a while okay that's kind of annoying i thought it was like a summon that stays with you but yeah if i put the hateful talisman on does this like does it do curse flame i don't know maybe can't really check it out all right what's the set bonus increases spirit summons by one you mint an aura of light okay cool uh so we have one two three four five five spirit levels okay not bad i do really want to test this on something i don't know what i guess i'll just drop down see what we find we have the slow fall again kind of annoying means i have to hold down s to fall down fast here hey remember when i was talking about a mount look what i got i got a unicorn while i was farming all the pixie dust very nice the game heard me i guess while we're going down here we could talk to the noob see what he's up to where's he at what's up my boy bob noob's blessing your weapons are blessed by the king of noobs shout out him who the hell hey kill him all right let me see here what do you sell not much at all okay back to hell or down to hell is there curse flame am i wearing the curse flame thing so there should be curse flame right i'm not seeing it affecting anything but the wyvern is doing good damage other than just having to summon it in every once in a while it does good damage i can't lie there what you got for me boom reward bag okay what else do you got for me so you know how i use a sword well the sheath for my sword is pretty whack now so you're so yo bro basically my sheath broke can you give me one what won't break as easily is it me or can i just not read or is this really bad like grammar maybe an adamantite or titanium one are you kidding me i gotta i gotta use some of my precious adamantite just to get him something got a lot of stuff here a lot of fragments and stuff infected lens hold up this is actually useful hold up that infected lens makes a uh spawn for the next boss it should i don't know if i have enough but i wanted to fight the next boss in this episode but i think we should end it off here because i've been working on this episode for a minute now just like doing a lot of grinding and stuff especially the mining the mining for like ores and stuff that always takes a while in area. yeah i think i'm end this episode off here i'll see y'all in the next one